Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnidities.org. Today we're going to be continuing categorical logic and categorical syllogisms looking at figure one conditionally valid statements. It's important to remember that conditionally valid syllogisms are going to be syllogisms that are never going to be valid for Boole and are only going to be valid for Aristotle under certain conditions. Let's take a look. So figure one, we remember, goes as follows. And... The conditionally valid syllogisms are going to be AAI and EAO, and they're only going to be valid for Aristotle if S exists, and they're never going to be valid for Boole. Let's take a look. So, figure one valid AAI might look something like all dragons are fire breathers, all lizards are dragons, some lizards are fire breathers. It's interesting to note that neither dragons nor fire breathers need to exist. The only thing that needs to exist for this argument to be valid is lizards, which do in fact exist, so the argument is valid. Whether or not it's sound is another issue. An invalid version would be something like all flying things are winged things, all dragons are flying things, therefore some dragons are winged things. This is actually going to be invalid. Why? Because the only thing that needs to exist, the subject, is dragons, and dragons don't exist, so it's going to be invalid form of argument. Figure one, valid, E-A-O. This might look something like no wizards or witches, all old people are wizards, therefore some old people are not which is the only thing that needs to exist is the subject, old people, so it's valid. And EAO, invalid, no old people are energetic, all wizards are old people, therefore some wizards are not energetic. The only thing that needs to exist is wizards, which in fact do not, so it is going to be invalid. That was figure one, conditionally valid. Next up is figure two, conditionally valid. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.